closing in on a shot at glory. Which one of these two teams will qualify for the decisive match, the World Cup final? We have all the action live coming up right here on EA TV. Hello, good evening to you, and part of the story here is the Albite Stadium by night. 60,000 capacity here. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we're about to bring you a very big occasion indeed, the semi-final of the World Cup. It's France against Morocco. Well, this could be an absolute classic, and the prize couldn't be any bigger, could it? A place in the World Cup final. Let's just hope we get two teams that want to play good football and come out and attack the opposition. This should be a good game. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris begins in goal. Dayo Upamecano plays alongside Rafael Varane in central defence. Kylian Mbappe starts with Ousmane Dembele out wide. And the starting role in attack. Oh, big chance here, Derek. And there it is! The first goal in the semi-final! A huge moment! Extraordinary scenes! Well, here we can see just how good this goal is. It has everything. Skill, pace and power. There was no stopping him there. Well, back underway and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. He's given us away. Unahi. Yusuf and Nesiri. Moving it forward. But they dealt with the threat post. The high press was very much on. Now oh, that pass easy on the eye. And a goal! Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So back underway, following the equaliser. Ziyech. Very quick thinking there. Under real pressure here. Can he convert? Oh, and it goes! The opening goal in this semi final. A long way from being decided, but it could be telling. Well, here it is again, and the defending simply isn't good enough. They have to react quicker, deal with the danger, and show more urgency. None of which they did, and that's the result. Goal! Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. Goal! A very effective clearance. And Nesiri, and stuffing out the danger. Griezmann, zero! Just couldn't get it through.
possession given away, unfortunately. Good use of advantage by the referee. Rafael Varane. And a chance for him on the flank. This could be the equaliser. Well, it might still work out for them. Well, what a good piece of goalkeeping that was. But the equaliser can't be long in coming, surely. Playing with plenty of zest and energy on the front foot once more. Giroud. Well, they'll be happy to have regained possession. Well, France have controlled possession, as you can see, but their attacking play hasn't been good enough so far. There's been too many safe passes and no real penetration. They certainly need to up the tempo if they're going to get back into this one. Well, looking to put the ball to good use here. No way through. Could be! Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Well, just look at this again. Great technique, perfect contact and a brilliant finish. Top stuff. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. I think the referee was spot on there. A free kick in the end after he had attempted to play advantage. Sofiane Buffal. Teo Hernandez now. And France pushing forward with options available. The supporters want to see him have a go. And a goal! Another one! Two in quick succession! No wonder they're celebrating! Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And what a finish from Mbappe. He gives the keeper absolutely no chance. It's such a powerful strike. Underway again, and we're being treated to plenty of goals. 3-2 at the moment. And we will have just one additional minute. Well, he's gone back to give the free kick, the referee here. He tried to play advantage, but it didn't accrue. The managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. And so the match is underway. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, Interesting to see how the second half pans out. Buffal. See this! Well, you've got to say, he's been a bit unfortunate. The post beating him to it. Well, he certainly is unlucky there. He got plenty on it, just lacking that bit of accuracy. And out for a throw-in. Just misfiring with the pass. It's there for him! And still an opportunity. And in the end, no damage done. Only real chance. In it goes! It just gets better and better for them. Another goal. And they can truly dream of the final now.
Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And that's a top-class finish from Mbappe. He hits that with such control. That's a brilliant goal. So the current scoreline, 4-2. It's a good-looking ball in behind. And it goes! A three-goal cushion! This is astonishing stuff! Well, let's take another look at this pass from Mbappe. He has so much vision. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. Now, who can he play it to? A fine reading of the situation. Just the clearance that was needed. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Oh, he's given it away. Well, no surprise there. France have enjoyed most of the possession, and that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent, and they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. Ati Adala. And they need to get tighter. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Keeper there to collect. Rabio Giroud That is a really disappointing effort Goodness me On that occasion just didn't make the right sort of contact Should be testing the goalkeeper from that sort of range And the pass not quite accurate enough And a throw in then Aurelien Chouameni. Really getting stuck in. Oh, great piece of individual skill. Tremendous ball played through. It could be up for grabs. Oh, a stellar piece of defending. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. A goal here, giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, I won't get tired of watching this. It's an outstanding bit of play. Just look how far he runs with the ball. That's a great goal. an extraordinary scoreline does this game have more goals in it takes the shot good stop from the keeper played in by Griezmann well, not the best clearance. Kunde. Now Griezmann. Just the challenge that was required. Ziyech. They were playing fluid football, but then the foul, and now you would anticipate a yellow card. Well, the referee has taken note of his name and number. Well, I think he can count himself a bit unlucky there, but it was certainly a foul. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes, and now both sides will make personnel switches. Ziyech just can't get it past the wall. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. 
Oh, that's a fine cross. Oh, and it goes! Now he has his hat-trick. A special moment for him. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. The electronic board has been held aloft. Three additional minutes here. Oh, lovely ball. Oh, a fine block. Oh, the referee points to the spot. Penalty. Well, let's look at this again, and it's always a risky penalty. When it comes off, it looks great. If it's saved, you look foolish. On this occasion, it's a great penalty. Goal for the record. There it is. We can say it officially now. France will be in the World Cup final. Well, it was a good game, wasn't it? They dominated most of the play and fully deserved their win to be in the final, but they would need to defend much better than they did today.